told you basically I went through what my platform is and what I want to do a couple months ago. I got to pick on David James because he leans over and looks down the aisle when Debbie Nix, my friend here, stands up. She is president of We the People, fought the largest school bond referendum ever to hit Aiken County and defeated it 71 to 29 percent. So this is the lady. Yeah. David James looks down, looks at me, goes, that's your town. And I wanted to stand up and go, who do you think stood in front of city council and said, I'm sorry, but you're from the Municipal Association, you need to sit down behind the taxpayer, and we'll let you know when you can speak. And that was so I'm the, I'm the, it is the hardest thing I'll tell you, just briefly, I'm going to update you, because that's what Nicole had asked me to do on the race and what's going on. I'll tell you one of the hardest things I've ever done is to switch hats between grassroots activist and politician. And unfortunately, if I am running for office, I mean, I know Katrina don't want to be called a, pol be called a politician, but that's what we are. And sometimes you got to have good guys in there because how are you ever going to get anything done? You can have all the ideas and policies in the world, but if you don't have someone to turn that into law, unfortunately, that's the way it is. So I hope and I'm going to encourage filing is, is now. I'm going to encourage all of you in this room to get out of the chair and you're already out there doing grassroots, go file yourself. Take the step over from grassroots activist to politician. It is fun. It's more fun than I thought it would be. Today, the update is I knocked on 80 doors. I almost got bitten by a water moccasin um, as I stuck my hand in a gardenia bush. I'm covered in pollen. Um, but meeting people door to door is one of the most rewarding things. It's kind of scary. You knock on the door and you never know what's behind the door. I mean, it could be, you know, Larry Marchant's mother today. It could be, um, you know, Nikki Sepsler's best friend from high school. But then it could be that next vote. And I got to tell you, I am getting people who now will want to leave their home after I tell my story and follow me down the rest of the street and work with me. And that's what's happening door by door. People are getting on board. And so I'm committed six days a week. I knock on doors to the tune of 60 to 80 doors a day. And I will do that all the way through November 6th because that's what it's going to take to make the changes we need to make in the Senate. So I am working my fanny off. My husband is keeping the kids, if you want to know where they are. On Saturdays, they're with me. And so together, we're going to make this thing happen. And I do appreciate your support. If you have a neighborhood that is in Senate District 26, I'm running against Nikki Setzler. I actually have a primary in June, June 12th, 1st. And then hopefully I will move on to run against Nikki Setzler on November 6th. But if you have a neighborhood that you would be willing to walk with me, it's so much better because you know these folks. These are your neighbors. So if you're willing to walk it with me, I would be proud to have you along the way. We'll bring you a big bottle of water because that's about all I can afford these days. But, um, but please let me know. It is going super well. One of the funnest things, and um, if you have been at any other meeting in the last couple of weeks, you've already heard it, but I've got to tell you because this is when you know you're being successful. For two years, I've been writing about the other fund, okay, that mysterious other fund made up of fines and fees, totaling $8.2 billion. Fines and fees are another word for tax another way to surround and confuse. Driver's license fee is a driver's license tax. Fishing license is a fishing license tax. So we need to make sure we know that. So we're going to change the verbiage. That's one of the things I'll do when I'm up there. I'm going to brainwash them and change the verbiage. But $8.2 billion sits in the other fund for two years. I have been writing about and stumping on, we need to get rid of this fund. We need to move those monies into the general fund where they're subject now to recorded votes and state spending caps. We need to move it out of slush. I've been stumping on it for four months, writing about it for two years. One month ago, Mr. Setzler introduced my ideas. Uh, uh, with 13 sponsors. Yes. That makes me a pretty effective unelected senator. What took you so long to do the right thing? You had 36 years. And why now? We're raising the noise level. We're making things happen, and I'm not even elected. Imagine what I can do once I get there. I appreciate your support. I'll be here at the end to answer any questions. Thank you.